This is me Viceroy lathe. Little project I've been working on. So this was a 240 volt motor in it when I got it. Um, it came out of an old college. I think someone had tried to convert it to um, just household 240 volt. So what I've done is I've put a three phase motor in it, which is inside here. So I've put a new motor in there. Um, the motor, some details on the plate there. I'm just waiting for a pulley at the moment. That pulley, it's on at the moment, but it's loose at the moment. I'm just waiting for uh, a wedge type pulley to come for it, then I can get that set up properly. But you've got emergency stop button there. You can just whack that with your knee while you're working on it. Um, I've put one of these Itchy Naka converters on it. it. It'll be flashing now on the uh, video, but I can assure you it's not flashing. Um, it's just, because it's LED, it's just the way it picks it up. So it's just plugged in. It's got a switch on it there that I can also hit just for an emergency. And then it's got the inverter. And then it's got an external like controller here, which has got a potentiometer here, so I can control the speed from there. I can go forward and reverse on there. And then we've just got start and stop on the machine there. So just brings the machine up to date, you know. It's a uh, yeah, great little machine. Put this little tool holding block on here. That's a lot better. So you can just change these cutters now, which is, um, I'll just get the, the tool out of here. These are then easy now. You can just uh, lift them out, put different ones in with all the different tools on. Nice and easy to get to. That's for the uh, CNC machine that's set up over there now. Yeah, so it's a lot better now. So I'll just, uh, I'll just show you it running, just show you how controllable it is and how nice it is to use now. So wherever, wherever you leave the speed on, on this controller, it'll just set it on there. You can just set it, start a forward or reverse. You can have it running as well when you put it into reverse, but um there we go. So I'll just see if we can get that in on camera. So it's just nice and easy. That noise is just that pulley at the moment at the bottom. I'll just wait I'll wait to change that. Right. Look how look how controllable that is. We'll start off again now on the speed it was on. Really easy. Yeah, so that's just an inverter off eBay. Could recommend there off uh, car junkies. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, just made this little box up for it, which is uh, pretty easy. Just a couple of switches, potentiometer, forward reverse switch, um, just a relay inside. Pretty simple really. And then all that wires into the bottom, comes with instructions, so it's pretty simple to, to wire in. Yeah, so nice little setup now. Just need to give it all nice lick of paint now, bring it back to life. But yeah, it's a cracking piece of kit. Yeah, there we go. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, uh, Get some nice projects on it and then we can uh, get some stuff on the channel. Thank you.